is a sentence of 17 years imprisonment. Five years of that sentence is suspended. Their lives changed irrevocably. Tabile Mbata's wife, inconsolable. The tragic events continued to haunt them. The judge found Mbata had merely reported for duty on that day. There was no evidence that he'd set out to commit a crime. I find it strange that the more senior and experienced member of the police was the driver of the vehicle, while the junior and less experienced member of the South African police, one who was still in training, is the person who was furnished, who was prov provided with this highly dangerous weapon. There seems to be no particular order or plan as regards allocation of dangerous weapons to members of the South African police. Satchwell noted the murder charge would have been altered to culpable homicide had Mbata taken the stand to explain his actions. She described him, though, as remorseful. Judge Satchwell made an impassioned plea to the Makoka family to forgive. She said while she understood the need to exchange a life for another, one had already been destroyed. She also said today's sentencing would not bring their son back. Outside court, the Mokoka family was overwhelmed. I forgive Sipumbata, that's all I can say. For both families, the losses are great. The Mokokas are still grieving. The Mbatas will have to come to terms with his long absence. Jillian Pillay, SBC News, Johannesburg.